Ali, and warm greetings from the people of Palau, excellencies and distinguished guests. I would like to congratulate President Joe Biden for his leadership in organizing this summit and bringing together formidable democratic nations and advocates of dem democratic ideals. For years, the U.S. foreign policy has defended democracy, but the U.S. cannot achieve this alone. We must harness the forces of our countries in a global alliance to advance human rights worldwide to ensure that democracy persists. The people of Palau, like many indigenous peoples and local communities, have followed a traditional, gover a traditional governance system founded on respect, inclusivity, and the overall well-being of our people. They are structured to guarantee equal representation of clans that form our village systems to ensure autonomy for the people by the people. With many similarities to the values of democracy, Palau's traditional system persevered for thousands of years until today. Palau enjoys relative peace and prosperity with support from our global friends and partners. Our alliances have helped us reinforce our sovereignty and withstand those who wish to undermine and corrupt our democratic institutions. Democratic states, we must unite and lead the charge to help liberate oppressed societies. We must also work domestically to demand diligence, engagement, and accountability from our citizens and leaders. An, enga an engaged society is the most reliable barrier against the erosion of our freedoms. Ladies and gentlemen, the absence of democracy in the Pacific and in the rest of the world will result in instability and chaos. Left unchecked, authoritarian powers pose a very real threat to the world. Palau is committed to an ambitious strategy that defends and extends democracy and human rights. Our chiefs were taught and reminded by the symbols of the stingray, the surgeon fish, and the shark that were painted on the traditional meeting house called the Bai. We must remain steadfast, like the stingray, never to compromise our values and principles. And like the surgeon fish, we must unite and work together. And finally, like the shark, we must be protectors of freedom and democracy. Thank you.